Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm truly honored to share this space with you all today. In 2004, as a 25-year-old Filipina immigrant, I sat in one of the largest women's prisons in the world, in Central California Women's Facility in Chowchilla, California. As a rape and domestic violence survivor, um, drugs were the only way I knew how to cope. Most of, this, most of the women I spent 15 years with, 86% of them were sexually assaulted and victims of rape. 77% of them were domestic violence survivors. I already lost my sense of worth and dignity after the rape. And when they sent me to state prison, I became just a statistic, a number. There are currently 5,849 female inmates, women, incarcerated to this day in three different women's prisons in California all across the state. To the prison industrial complex, we're just a bunch of numbers. Numbers who generate $106,000 of taxpayers' money to house women like me. That's a lot of money that we can do for others. For myself um, and the women that are still incarcerated, looking past our convictions and seeing us as mothers, daughters, sisters, human beings capable of change can help bring back and restore our self-worth and dignity and ignite that hope, that small glimmer of hope inside each, and one, each one of us that there's still a fight left and we're worthy of that second chance. Now as faith communities, it is our duty to uphold them, their well-being and let them, remind them that every person, even behind bars, that they are sacred and that they're worthy. They need to know that. I needed to know that. My faith in Jesus has kept the hope alive in me. And that's why I am here today, free. But free from the inside and out. Free from the bondages of my past, my hurts, my fears, from the physical bondage that held me and into the light, into the light, that hope, redemption, and restitution. As the women fight for their freedom, and it's not easy to wake up in those concrete walls every day, let's call in our community, in closure of prisons, what we need is a community full of resources and programs to help them heal from the inside and out so that when they come home, they know that they have people like you, like each one of you here, that they too can overcome, that they too can redeem what was lost. They have a stable stability and a life worth building for, giving them a strong, solid foundation here in our community, standing with them side by side, just like you all do for me and the others that have been released from detention and prison. And that way, their healing continues and our community continues to heal. So today, I lift my women, my, my friends, that are left behind in prison. Let's continue to free them all and close prisons.